Hello, Ram Fang. Happy spring. Uh, just thought I'd shoot a, a video. Uh, sorry, I haven't been posting many videos lately. Uh, haven't been doing much lamp collecting. Almost ready to move next week. And so uh, just busy working and getting ready to move. But I do have a nice lamp I'd like to show you. So I have here, I just picked this up today. I'm really happy because I've been looking for years for one of these. And it was probably about 20 miles away. This is a famous FAMOS CP124 in. Um, now, this is all original finish. I'm really sorry I can't get... It's really dull. So this is a nickel-plated lamp, and it's highly oxidized. I think the background light is probably not helping either. But um, I've polished nickel lamps before. This will come up like chrome, and this is complete. So... I'm just actually kind of reading up on who made it and who did it. And so there's a really good book here, The Evolution of the Kerosene Burner by uh, Acom. So he's, um, he's out of Europe and he has this fantastic book on mantle and center draft lamps and a few other oddities too, some pressurized lamps. But uh, anyway, here it is right here. Um, and it is the famous foreign uh, 1928 with the dark red knob so this actually does have a dark red knob now this is as I found it it's ready to be cleaned up it's a hundred percent complete including the wick uh, it did come with the incorrect uh, chimney because these come with a really tall chimney like an Aladdin but everything is here so I took it all apart briefly uh, the wick is there the wick turns up and down might be usable the flame spreaders had better days. It's kind of banged up. I don't know if it'll come back, but I'll heat it up and cool it down to soften it and I'll press it back into shape. But uh, I'm pretty happy with this find. As I said, I've been looking for one of these for years. They're pretty plentiful in England because that's where they were exported. So according to Anton's book here, there was an employee at Eric and Gratz who, uh, who basically left the company and developed the CP120 or the CP125. CP stands for candle power. Um, and it was uh, basically manufactured by Falk and Stettelman and company, but it was also sold by uh, Eric and Gratz under the S-O-E-S-S-O -S 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 name uh, with uh, an Eric and Gratz on the wheel, uh, with an E-G on the wheel, which is like the two dragons. So, um, so this this uh, is this is a mantle lamp, and yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find a mantle. So mantles kind of look like that. They kind of look like a semi cone cap from Aladdin. I don't know if I'm gonna get this thing going ever, but really happy that I finally got one of these um, European lamps. I, I don't know how it got into Toronto area. It might have gotten brought over uh, years ago. Uh, you know, this is you know a 97 year old lamp. Uh, would have came over uh, probably pre-war and um, it's been here ever since and uh, just real happy there's really nothing wrong with it there's a few little marks on it but it's got a real heavy heavy base on it like this thing wouldn't blow over in a hurricane uh, it's literally a quarter inch uh, steel plate bottom it's got a really nice shape to it too and this will polish up uh, beautifully and clean up really nice and be a, a real nice lamp in my collection of a, you know, not rare lamp, but rare in Canada, uh, fairly rare in the US from what I gather, but um, you know, not so rare in England. Uh, you, they usually sell for $120. I picked this up for a song. I was, I didn't even dicker on the price. The price was reasonable. I just paid the person and picked it up. So, but anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this week's uh, little video on European. Oh, here's another lamp here that is done by Eric and Gratz as well too. So this is, this lamp here um, is, is basically the same burner. And this was uh, sold by uh, Montgomery Ward in the States. So these are pretty common in the States, have a really wide base. I'm looking for one of these too. And I know a lot of lamp collectors in the States have them, but they've, they've never come up here. But I would love to own one of these too. I think this is one of the uh, strange looking and prettiest lamps I've ever seen. The base appears, like the foot appears to be bigger than the font. Um, but it has literally the same burner on it. And um, I, I believe um, if the history goes right, I'd have to research it that on 
this particular lamp here sold by Montgomery. I believe the burner uh, was done, of course, by uh, Eric and Gratz, but the um, the base was done by an American manufacturer and assembled here. But I might be wrong on that. Don't quote me. Uh, I'll have to do some more research on it. It just basically read the book on it and uh, um, and go from there. So I guess I'll research it when I find one. When they open the borders, I'll get back to the States and I'll find one. But anyway, this is a really good book. And uh, if you Google search it, um, Anton Kane. Um, and this is a really, really good book. The paper quality in it is fantastic. It's got this, I don't know what, it's got a really smooth texture to it and it's great color pictures. And it has a ton of European uh, center draft lamps in it. Some of them quite rare, some of them one only, some of them pretty common. But anyway, if you're a lamp nut like me, you might wanna order one. I think you basically can order it directly from uh, the author which I did and had it shipped here. Um, I think the shipping costs more than the book, but uh, I don't care. This is one of my favorite books just because of its the quality and the content. But uh, anyway, so bam, there's his email. Send him an email. He'll send you one straight to you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this week's video and have yourselves a great day.